Hello guys, today I will introduce to you the latest 3 0 e multimeters that can connect to mobile app by Bluetooth. We made an app called Ibu. After clicking on the app, we saw the interface of the tag. Our app can be connected to 4 multimeters at the same time. I will show you how to connect and use them later. These 3 multimeters are our newly launched. They are S5B. 3008B and 5QB. Please remember to read the manual. There are some parameters and safety precautions. After unpacking according to the distributor's requirements, sometimes the batteries are installed already, and sometimes the batteries are in the color box. SIB has a protective case, of course, the others without a protective case are also very good resistant to fall. Take it apart, the positive and negative poles are marked on a battery box inside. 3008B uses two AA batteries, and the other two models use two AAA batteries. O5BQ and S5B are powered on by long pressing the red button. You can turn on or turn off the product by rotating the switch. Let's see how to connect to Bluetooth. For 3008B, you can long press the yellow button to connect to Bluetooth. Then you can see the Bluetooth symbol flashing. For S5B, you can short press red button to connect Bluetooth. For 5 pq you can press and hold two buttons at the same time. First of all, we turn on the phone's Bluetooth, enter Ibu app, and display three connectable Bluetooth multimeters. Let's turn off the two for easy distinction. The first one is 300AB. We can rename it to 300AB. Connect to the next one. We name it as 5B. Turn on the third one and name it 5BQ. Quickly introduce a function of 3008B. It's an automatic range monitor. Switch to auto can automatically identify AC and DC voltage. Resistance, continuity. Let's measure an AC voltage of 2020 volts with data on both sides. This is DC voltage. A resistance of 5 megohms. And continuity. Next, let's do a accuracy display. Let's input DC 1 volt, 10 volts, 100 volts, and 600 volts. All of them are very accurate. We look at the AC 700 and 15 volts, 15 hertz, and the AC 200 and 20 volts, 15 hertz. They are all very accurate. The voltage of the circuit isn't accurate. It can't be used as the standard voltage of 220 volts. 
Some people say that the medium volts range is unstable because its input impedance is very high, but it doesn't affect the accuracy. 100 million volts is very accurate, so don't worry about this. Let's look at the 5BQ's AC 200s and 20 volts. DC voltage, resistance, continuity, and the diode function. Let's measure 313 microfarad capacitance. The display will be slower because of the way of testing the capacitance is charging and discharging. For the temperature function, the normal temperature is usually displayed when the test lead is pulled out. The phone will display that it's ready to start measuring large currents. Please use it carefully. We have to climb single layer wires to test it because it has only AC current mode and no DC current measurement. So it will show AC current. Now we input 2 ampere 15 Hz AC current. Climbing test tests large current usually, so the accuracy is low when we test small current. This is the basic function of the T5BQ. By this time, let's connect to S5B. Turn on the backlight. We will use S5B to measure AC voltage, DC voltage, a 5 magon resistance, and a continuity. If this venue is less than 15 ohms, it will keep beeping. Finally, we measure a dial and 313 microfarad capacitance. The temperature mode will display normal temperature without a thermocouple probe. On the contrary, the high temperature can be measured with a thermocouple probe. This is the basic operation of a Bluetooth multimeter. Our app has many other functions, such as remote assistance, data called another set. Record the major venue. And the electrician center, which is a platform for electronic enthusiasts to learn.